Let's do this. Okay, so finally it landed, the Call of Duty multiplayer gameplay at E3 at last, which everybody was kind of like, uh, what was that? Campaign? I'm not altogether too sure. I'm confused. Um, obviously, it's it's Sledgehammer, and Sledgehammer's, um, Sledgehammer's multiplayer revealers have all been very different to everybody else's. Uh, if you think about Advanced Warfare, then that was just different altogether, and people were left dropping their sandwiches in absolute shock, going, what is this? What is this game? This isn't Call of Duty, this is a joke. And then everybody obviously got used to that way of thinking. Everybody got used to the futuristic side of things. Whereas uh, I remember back to Modern Warfare 3, their multiplayer trailer was showing a character running with a, an assault rifle. It was a very cinematic thing. And it was showing his setup and pointing to all little bits of pieces on the character. This is his C4, this is this. And it would show a couple of kills. Then he would get popped off by somebody with an LMG. And then it would show his setup and show it in a very cinematic form. So, you know, I kind of remember how, um, how Sledgehammer worked with their reveal but I did what everybody else did and I waited for the I waited for the good old-fashioned youtubers to post their videos so I could see some real content and in homage to the fact that it is boots on the ground and I am excited about that I'm gonna put some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay in the background but um, one thing was weird I was about down to about level 50 and I was doing quite well on this um, you know this game attack that I've got now and I, I put it down, I came back the next day and I turned it on and all of a sudden I had everything unlocked and everything had full camo and I had all my attachments and everything else. So I don't know what kind of weird lobby I got into where I unlocked all that and I had some really strange clan tag that was on the side of my character. But yeah, so that's the gameplay, obviously you can see it there. And it's a, it's a homage to Boots on the Ground. Now, yeah, I went back to the uh, traditional Call of Duty YouTubers who some of them I didn't really want to watch, but some of them I just felt obliged to watch because I wanted to see what uh, what we were going to be having in line for us. And I've got to be honest, until I get my hands on the game myself and play the beta that's waiting for us very late in the year, I am not going to make any assumptions on it whatsoever. But I am going to make observations. And the one observation that I do have is that at least it's boots on the ground. I'm excited about that. It very much looks like World at War, which is uh, which is exciting for me because I missed out on World at War. You guys know I've talked about how I missed the World at War boat because I was playing Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Well, now I'm going to be able to play something very similar. So they have really gone back down to the nitty gritty. And that to me is a big step. It's a big move. It's a bold move. And it's a move that is going to be very pleasing to some people, but very very disturbing for others the people that have come into call of duty in this futuristic you know sort of regime this futuristic sense where you have to fly you can only win a gunfight if you're running along a wall and take your enemy by surprise by jumping behind them and spraying them in the back with bullets that kill in two um, it didn't look like that from what I saw the hit detection looked kind of bang on it looked very much like black ops hit detection like Triarch hit detection and um, I suppose in a lot of respects it looked like sledgehammers in hit detection when you think of advanced warfare that that game took a few bullets to kill people so the heat detection has been toned down a little bit thank goodness because um, I think what I think what Infinite Warfare and what Modern Warfare Remastered has shown us is that high heat detection is not good man you know it makes especially for a boots on the ground game it makes for camping think of Call of Duty Ghosts heat detection ridiculously high everybody camped everybody camped so you'd turn a corner you would see a guy you wouldn't have a chance a cat in house chance of dealing with what you were about to walk into an absolute onslaught um, whereas at least with you know the flying aerial stuff I suppose it is a little bit more acceptable so for me COD Modern Warfare Remaster did not work the hit detection was way too high you could literally go on a 10 killing streak without reloading your gun once yeah when it comes to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and you got to take into account that you know you, you can fly you can move you can jump you can wall run and you can be as skillful as you like but you will never be able to conquer that element where somebody is running along a wall that is out of your sight that is at the side of a wall that you might have run along and it's all very surprised jumping on top of you um, with these new DLC guns and these supply drop weapons like the erasable VPR that sprays you from the hip and melts you in two bullets then it doesn't work again so it's nice to see that the high um, sorry it's nice to see that the low heat detection value is back and it obviously 
you know, maybe the, the health is a little bit higher. I don't know. Um, but as far as everything else, as far as the whole, you know, female... Oh, we got females in war. Females weren't in war. Sorry, you've got to cater. There are female players out there who don't want to play as male characters. So for them, it's more enjoyable for them to customize a female to what they would like to have their persona sort of injected into and feel that they're part of that war. This is me. This is my character on the field. This is what I would like to think I look like. If, uh, if I weren't such a pig. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, that's really... Uh, that's wrong. But yeah, the, they've got to have female characters to cater for the female audience. The swastikas, I don't care. You know, that's a small minor detail. I suppose they've got to keep it politically correct so that people don't get... Um, I don't know. Don't get their knickers in a twist over the fact that there are swastikas in the game. And it's offensive to people. I know it's wrong, but that's just the way the world is at the moment. So they've, they've kind of edged away from that. They've moved away to try and keep the crowds happy. But at the same time, the gameplay, the game modes, the maps and everything look absolutely amazing. And I am looking forward to getting back to that old-fashioned traditional Call of Duty feel. That's how it feels for me. And it's not going to be for everybody. The new generation of gamer is not going to be able to get their heads around the fact that you have to... You know, you have to move in a forward motion. You have to move in a pincer movement. They're uh, they're used to doing things in a far more extreme way, and I don't know how they will deal with that. Um, when I commented on the Call of Duty channel on the Call of Duty video for the multiplayer reveal trailer, um, there were people coming back at me when I made some comment about scuff kids not being able to get used to that um, that flying element. I said they will be spinning their fidget uh, fidget spinners in um, in absolute anticipation at the fact that they're not going to be able to deal with this and they're wetting their pants. People are like, no, they'll be good, they'll be good. You just hate because you can't do it. Blah de blah de blah. So great to see it back on the ground, but. Don't worry, this is not all a, you know, all a rose-tinted glasses thing. I can see that there are problems. There are things that I've seen in the, uh, in the multiplayer gameplays that I don't like, and I'll be talking a little bit more about those, but obviously these are just observations. This isn't me saying it's going to be super great, it's the saviour of COD, everything's brilliant. Again, we're going to go back to how things were four, five, six, seven years ago, and it's going to be popular, and everybody's channels are going to blow up, and we're all going to be YouTube rich, and, uh, you know take over the world it's not the case but it's a step in the right direction and i'm excited about that so thanks for watching guys tell me what you think about it um, obviously it's going to be a mixed bag in the comment section but i do feel quite good about this so i hope you enjoyed the gameplay take care apocalypse done